The prisoner stands accused of the most heinous crimes. Sir Galahad has betrayed our ancient trust. More than this, he has conspired with godless rebels. Adding to his litany of evil, he has presumed to take the life of our esteemed Chamberlain, Lord Hastings. Sir Galahad is a base traitor, a man without honor or scruple. I ask the Council to impose the supreme penalty. I beg the Council's indulgence. Let us not forget Sir Galahad's service to this order over the centuries. Perhaps our brother Knight can be saved. And once more put onto the righteous path. The Knight Commander shows too much leniency. The proof against the traitor is irrefutable. I saw Sir Galahad in the company of the rebel leader. I was too far away to hear them clearly, but they seemed on familiar terms. They were leaving an establishment known to harbor rebels. Sir Galahad sought an audience with the Lord Chancellor and me. He hurled a number of senseless accusations at the United India Company and seemed intent on finding Lord Hastings. Bring in Lord Hastings. Lord Hastings, you have identified the prisoner as your assailant? Sir Galahad infiltrated our headquarters late night, accompanied by the rebel leader and her followers. I could not be sure that the man I was following was Sir Galahad until... I found his coat, discarded near the rebel hideout. As his commander, I tried to dissuade him from pursuing his allegations. It is now clear he did not heed my advice. They incapacitated several of my guards and entered my chambers, intent on killing. We found Lord Hastings wounded by the prisoner's hand. He must stand condemned by his own actions. Honored knights, how do you find for the prisoner? Guilty. 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 The sentence is death. Surrender yourself! Go! 
one may escape the penalty. You forget, Lord Chancellor. I'm as good as dead already. Uh. 